Procreate is a very popular art app for iPad, and you guys know I'm a big fan of it. I've done tutorials on this channel, I teach courses on how to get the most out of it. And it's why I felt the need to make this video to explain why don't more pro colorists use this app? You know, what is missing? There's really one major reason why I can't recommend Procreate to others for coloring without disclaimers involving the other apps that I use for different parts of the process. The problem is very simple. Here's what it is. Most colorists work with line art and then a layer of flat colors underneath. Usually a flatter or a coloring assistant separates all the elements out into different colors. So the first thing a colorist needs to do is to actually start changing those colors. Here's a quick example to illustrate this. So here's two blue squares on a gray background. Let's say I need to change the color of these squares from blue to red. Now with Procreate's current selection tools, the most efficient possible way to do this is to use the automatic selection tool. Click each square in order to select both and then fill the selection with color. Now this isn't terrible, but I need to be able to select all of this blue with one click because what if it's four squares? Well, you have to click four times. What if it's 12? What if it's 20? You see, the automatic selection tool won't actually select both colors unless they are adjacent to each other, unless they're actually touching. Here's a quick real-world example. Now, this is not a unique or special situation that I've set up just for the purposes of this video. Uh, I can go to any page, any panel that I've worked on, and find examples of this. Uh, I, I pulled this one up as a quick example. Very common situation here. I've got my flat colors on a layer below my line art and let's say that I want to change the color of this background and uh, this was drawn by Rebecca Isaacs by the way I will link to her Instagram below now in my own current process I would do this in a different app but this is what it takes to do it in Procreate I'm gonna to go to the automatic selection tool and I'm gonna click over here and you can see it selected all the background but it hasn't selected these white areas within the character so that's one click two three thirteen took 13 clicks, 14, 14 clicks, just to select the background in this panel. And as I've said on my channel many times, there are as many ways to color as there are colorists, but using a flat layer is one of those things that's as close to universal as it gets. So let's say I wanna change the color of this sky. So again, I grab my automatic selection tool. Now, I'm not actually gonna take the time and select all of these, but I've counted, there's at least 20 places I would have to click on this sky in order to just select it to change the color. These are not outlier situations. These happen on every panel of every page. And that's why I really only use Procreate for rendering. I have to do all of my page setup in a different app because it's not feasible with Procreate. So, you know, add up all of that extra time, all of those clicks in all of the panels and all of the pages for 22 pages, and that's just for one issue and then multiply that times someone that's doing it professionally full-time, three, four, five issues a month. That's the problem. The, the time adds up, and it doesn't really work in a production environment like comics. Now, most modern art apps that I'm aware of deal with this a different way. For example, in Photoshop, they have a tool called Magic Wand. I spent $37.50 on this joke, so I hope it's funny. But it's simply a matter of choosing the wand going to the flat layer and going in and selecting that color. And then I can go in and change the hue of that color. Clip Studio, Krita, GIMP, Art Studio Pro, Affinity Photo, and, and a host of other apps all have this functionality. Now I understand that Procreate is not trying to be those apps. That's one of the things that I like about it. I like the minimal UI. I like the fact that it's not cluttered with lots of options. The tools are simple, but powerful, but the selection tools leave a lot to be desired. And there are some other quirks as well. There's no alias lasso to get clean selections. You can't remove from selections with the automatic selection tool at all. I'm sure I'm missing some other things. I'd be happy to answer any questions anyone at Savage has about any of these issues. I could put together a round table of, of colorists that could be happy to consult on this issue, I believe. But if you are a fan of Procreate and agree that this is something that would make a great app even more awesome, then I've got a link in the description to a tweet and an Instagram post. Let them know that this is a feature that you're interested in, that this is something that would benefit you in your own work, whether you're a professional or a hobbyist. And if you share this video, you can use the hashtag procreate, please. I did check to make sure that there are no 
uh, world population growth movements using that. So I think we're good. It'll help me spread awareness of the issue. And I hope to get a response from Savage on this. They are the developers of Procreate. And I know I'm not alone in this. You can do a search for Magic Wand on the Procreate forums and find countless posts all asking for the same thing. And I, I hope this video explains why most of the developer responses that I've seen on there either ignore the issue or just, just an education issue about how, specifically how colorists work. And it's probably not just colorists. Anyone that does illustrations with flat colors would probably love to see this. And by the way, if you decide to share this on social media and kind of help my cause here, be nice, okay? Like... I know I've been a little snarky, and uh, but let's keep it civil, keep it respectful, leave your pitchforks at home. I have created this video out of love for this app. If, if I didn't love it so much, I wouldn't even bother. This one little thing would make such a massive difference. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take care. It'll be a tutorial, I promise.